Okay, here is the Wombat, all ready to assemble. So this is the current pattern in the Funny Faces Quilt Block of the Month Club. And when I say current, it is August 15th, 2021. And this will be exclusive to the club until September 2021. Uh, or, and then it'll switch over to a new pattern. And then sometime in October, you'll be able to find it in the shop at Shiny Happy World. So this guy is pretty straightforward to put together. The only thing that's a little bit weird about him is he's got some little buck teeth and that's gonna be a little bit different than you've seen in a lot of my patterns. So as always, we're gonna start with the bottom of the shoulders, that straight line at the bottom here. I'm gonna slide this up just a smidge more. Lines up with the bottom edge of the block and this guy is pretty symmetrical. So we're just, I'm just gonna center him in here. And then I we'll have his face. He's got a big, chunky, fat head. And that is just gonna overlap. And once I cover up that line from the markings, I know I've got that in a good place. And again, this is just showing the assembly of this block. But if you have any questions about how all of my quilts are put together, how I do the fusible adhesive in any of my patterns, the pattern that you have has instructions, has linked to a longer video that goes into a lot more detail about marking those lines and all of that kind of thing. So next up, we're gonna put his ears in and we've got the marks here that show us where they go and on the ear that shows us how much they overlap. Same thing on this side. And now I'm gonna put in his big chunky wombat nose and that goes right there and then I'm going to do his eyes they are also nice and big these are going to be easy to outline and now we've got his teeth and I've already marked the line that I'm going to be stitching between the teeth to show that definition between the two teeth so the mouth he curls up, he's got the kind of double curve mouth, and this guy just gets just barely overlapping that mouth line so that when I stitch over that line for the mouth, I'm also going to secure the top edge of his teeth. And I will show that to you, I'll zoom in on that when I come back and show you uh, the finished outlining on this guy. All right, here he is all finished with the outlining done, and as I promised, I said I would come back and zoom in and show you how the teeth were outlined. So when I did the smile on him, that also caught the top edge of those teeth, which is what I was wanting. So this is him in fairly realistic colors. So the background fabric is from the uh, Box of Crayons fabric bundle. And uh, both of his, the light and the dark brown, are from the Warm Neutral Batiks bundle. And I have two other colors I did them in to show you. So I've got a silly pink version. This is the um, pinks from the Rainbow Brights bundle and this is from the Little Stripes. And one more. I love how this guy turned out. So this uses um, a dark orange from the Rainbow Batiks fabric bundle. And then I love these two bundles together. This is the Gingham Play bundle and this is from the Dots bundle and they are color coordinated so that the two bundles work together really well. And I love that for animals where the wombat is really a pretty uniform color overall, but I like to get a little bit of contrast between the face and the body and the face and the ears. And so it works really well to use these almost the same colors, but different patterns. And one's a little bit lighter than the other. That just works really well for an animal that has pretty uniform coloring. So that is the wombat pattern. I'm Wendy from Shiny Happy World. I'll see you next time.